This is Mary at the Marriottier, and I am going to participate with Tanya and Lisa and Brittany in a video series on Wednesday, September the 8th, called Messy Studio Tour. And the object of this is to help us get some of this inspiring <laughs> mess cleaned up. Yeah, this is my messy studio. Now, I've been working on this for at least five years. At least, I used to have a bed off over in here. My brother put up some shelving for me, but it's completely full. I still have pictures on the wall of my nephew and his wife and, and their daughter. It's all up in there. But, yeah. And as you can see here, I, I drape things with these tablecloths. I do like that. It just kind of gives it a, a a nice feel to my studio. I've got several of those tablecloths here. So basically, as Becky says, everything in its place. Well, I need more places for everything. <laughs> I, I do like this paint rack here, and I use that a lot when I'm working on my art. But I get the colors mixed up, and I don't always get them back the same way, and I'm working online, so I need to maybe label. These are, you know, blues, reds, yellows, along, that, along those lines. Then I'm going to walk in here. Now, this is basically a, a messy studio walkthrough right now. Back over in here is what I'm calling my, my closet area craft closet. It's not really closet, but it's, I mean, it's not really craft, uh, but it's probably cleaner than the rest of the area because I'm cleaning this area out. This area was filled with boxes. Now, I still have boxes in here, but I'm inventorying those. I have a little red composition book that I use when I fill up my boxes. I write down now what's inside of them, so hopefully if I want something... And this is this area is going to be sorted out, and and I'm going to stack up all of these boxes over here. All of these boxes in here are ones that I've already inventoried, and they're just stacking up in front of my bookcases. I can't get to my bookcases, so I'm going to take those from there and put them in here. And I want to paint at least the front of the boxes so I know what number it is and put a number on it. This area, this area in here, I can utilize this space a lot more. Now my brother has a shelf. Let me move this board. I do use this board on occasion, but let me, uh-oh. Well, you can look. See, he's got his he had made at one time, he doesn't do it anymore, all of these pop can airplanes. And that's my red hanger. And look at that John Deere. And he's got some more neat stuff up there. And this goes up quite high. I don't know if I can utilize that space up there. Not for shelving, but maybe for pictures or something. Let me put this board back against the... So... And then these areas here, I sort of know what are in these boxes, but I don't have them labeled. So I'm going to go through these boxes here, sort out down in there. This shelf, I kind of, this shelf in here, I kind of, kind of know. I've been saving these wax paper boxes for my, all my different rolls. I, when I use them up, I save them and they go in here. Um, Semi-gloss proactive enamel. No, I don't use that in my art. I bought that by mistake. Some clear glaze, triple thick. I'd have to go outside to use this stuff. I might put this, ask my brother if I can put it back in the back porch. But these are all things that I sort of know what are, but it kind of needs to be a little bit more organized. I've got some journals here, some extra markers that I don't use a lot here some lace and you know my brother has said that I can move all these model planes and stuff off and use a shelf and I just haven't 
I don't know, I haven't done it yet because I feel like I'm kicking him out of his room. So, you know, I could really utilize this space in there. But you get this, these plastic shelves too heavy and they start sagging. So I'm still thinking about that. And then he's got a table. Him and his significant other used to go to craft sales and they would sell these model airplanes. And he's got some tables over here left from that. And he's got, let me turn on the light here. He's got model planes all up over in here and all over there that I just, I haven't, I haven't had the heart to take them down because I, you know, he even got one hanging from the ceiling here. So, and then this area are all my journals. These I've, uh, these, well, these are books here. This is a box of pens. These are journals, empty journals. And when I want something to work on, I know I can come in here. I've got a whole stack of composition books. And down on that bottom shelf is empty. I can take some of these and put down there. So there's just organizing. These boxes, I know what they are. A um, couple of them are numbered already. But eventually, I'm going to move those other boxes into here. So I'm working on things. And this having this space will certainly help me. Here's my craft cart that I use all the time when I'm working, especially this top shelf. I had it all organized, and then when I work, I, I disorganized. These I hate. I'm going to take these out and move them upstairs. So I'm going to empty the, you know, like I have erasers and, and lace and I don't know, uh, I have bigger lace down there, but they sag. They sag so bad. I'm going to take them upstairs and, well, keep my stuff in a box, numbered box. But these are going to go upstairs in my spare room upstairs. And, you know, see, just, <laughs> I generally have a messy studio, but I li I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm happy in here. But it's really hard for me to find things when I want them. And you guys know that by listening to me when I go, oh no, now where are my markers? Where's my Georgia clay? Where are my scissors? Now this area, I have an, an old laptop. It's probably Windows 7 yet there. And it's all hooked up and everything, but I don't use it very much. And I'm continually throwing things behind this screen. I'm going to move that screen back so I can't throw anything in behind it. And believe it or not, I had this desk area cleaned off. But when I work at my desk here, here's my chair, I'm continually putting things like, okay, this paint. I had this paint out when I was painting those, that wall of windows. Um, the door, the house prompt cards, and I'm leaving them out so I know what colors I used. Here's a box I want, an empty box that I want to paint. Stencils I put over here, but there's my dictionary. There's dictionary on top of the laptop. Pens. So even if I got this area cleaned off again, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? And out of this craft room, I, I think my next step out of the craft room would be to pull some of those boxes out and finish inventorying them so that I can take this stack of boxes that are blocking my way to my cabinets and put them in there. That That's kind of my next step of my plans. Now, it's going to take me a while because, you know, I'm doing other things too. But back behind here are my bookcases. In this bookcase, these are mostly all journals. They even way down in, well, ignore that blue box, but there are journals down in there. There are journals that, you know, and especially you can see the same as the shelf up there. I've got all my monthly journals stuck in behind there. And then I have another cart here that holds... A lot of current projects that I'm working on. Like here's that box of painty paper. And here's the painty paper roll. I want to eventually have several different types of rolls like this. And stack them up. I think that'll be so cool. And yeah, and I even stack on top of my covers here. 
I've got books and um, I had this flower pot on top of my gnome. Who, my gnome is down there. I haven't quite finished him yet. He probably won't get finished till next year. And here's that calendar that I worked on last year. And then I've got this weird shelf that kind of falls at a slant back in this corner. Now this belonged to my brother, this shelving, this tan shelving belonged to my brother. But I think I want to move it out, clear everything off of it, move it out completely, ask my brother if he wants it, or maybe move it upstairs and get me a, a more sturdy shelf like one of these. It won't, it can't be quite as long because I might have to just get a, a taller one, but a shorter one. And look, there's a door back behind there. That leads into the dining room. I love that area back there, but it needs to be sorted. My old sewing machine is down underneath there. My new one is out in the dining room. Then I have one of these red carts, like what Becky has. Let me get over here. There's one of these red carts in front of this. There's a buffet back here. I've got stuff in that buffet. So when I get this area cleaned out, I want to take this cart that's in front of the buffet and move it over there, and it will be able to be moved in and out. And I want these drawers accessible so I can get to them. These are all journals piled up on top of here, mostly glue books piled up here, journals that I've completed, some journals that have been sent to me. There is an empty box. And here are more of my brothers. And he said, take them these down. I just can't take them down yet. They need to be dusted around there. But, you know, when people come here, they this is an open, I love this archway. Let me back up. It's an archway as you walk into my studio. It's an archway, and I love that. But when people come to visit, and, you know, they're standing here, the first thing they see are my brother's uh pop can creations here and they always remark on them my desk is over in there i i work behind this and i usually put this fan right about here where i'm standing and and then it blows the when it's so hot in here the fan blows this way it hits my desk but this paint stand kind of prevents it all from hitting me so i move it a little so i get a little air but yeah, you can see my messy studio. Even though it's a mess, I kind of know where things are. But like I said, I think I'm going to start clear off this desk, I think, and clear out those boxes that are in there and inventory them so I can move these boxes in there. That'll help a lot. It's not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in one week. It, it, we'll be lucky if it happens in one year. Over here, over here, I've got fabric that I put on cardboards like Lucia. That's my nephew there. My nephew, and I think his wife is behind that basket there. And he made that. My, my nephew made this when he was, my goodness, he's in his 40s now. He made this when he was in high school, woodworking. And... There's my nephew and his wife up there. So, but this is all fabric. Um, this first shelf right in there is my printer that needs to be hooked up. Yeah, I know. I have things hanging off of here. Here's my little Maisie doll. I got that at the Defy auction. Nobody wanted her, so I bought her. <laughs> Embroidery, cross-stitch stuff, fabrics. Um, I sometimes... Well, most of the time have the lace part falling down. These tablecloths, I'm looking for more of these kind of lacy tablecloths because it does. My brother sits, let me go back into the living room here. My brother sits right in here and he get, his view of my room is like that. So if I can kind of, I was thinking about getting one of those screens, one of those room screens and put in there. And if I take this shelf out, like I want to see how that leans, it kind of leans like that. I want to clear that whole shelf out, get a new shelf and put in there, one that's more sturdy, that holds things without me of a fear of tipping everything over. And 
and then put up one of those room screens right in there. That will help and clear this area in here out. Uh, I often put things right in there to dry while I'm working. I'm sitting in my chair right here, and I'll just turn around and put something on top and let it dry. So there's my messy studio tour that, yeah, it, it's it's sort of messy, <laughs> but it's home, you know. It's home. It's my, yeah, it's my studio. It's where I play, and I'm enjoying it. I have to say I'm really thankful to have it. I wish it were bigger. I wish I had more space. I could fill up the room in there and have another room in here where I'm standing. So it's, I've been on here about 15 minutes. I'm just kind of telling you where, showing you where I am now with this. And like I said, I think I'm gonna, my next, my first task is I think to clear this area off and clean the boxes out of that craft room so I can move the boxes that are in the middle of the floor over here into there. And I'm gonna to try to paint those boxes that I've inventoried. I, I watched Tanya paint a box one day, and I'm gonna to try to paint those, get some oops paint and, and paint them. I want them all the same color though. So, <laughs> we'll see what kind of progress I make. I've made several of these messy studio but like I said, when my very first time I did this, I had a bed back in there. I, I maybe had, when I came from Wisconsin, I had six boxes that I, of art supplies. Look what it's grown into. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Enjoy the tour of our messy studios and the cleanup that we're going for. And yeah, let's clean. Let's clean. Bye.